<sighs> oh, good morning. Welcome to the end of October here in Colonia at the Polish farm. You get some coffee here. I ran out of, uh, well, not, I didn't run out of. I'm kind of keeping a lot of my really good stuff. And just worked in some Colombian Supremo from Sam's Club <laughs> to make the uh, good stuff that I got in Colombia last a little longer. Um... coffee that is so we finished up yesterday we we're rolling in the field we we're having a worker help us which was probably not a great decision <laughs> wasn't a whole lot of help uh, it's gonna take some work to clean up what he did so uh, going back to the upgrading equipment debate um, I had intended to update my roller and I just hadn't got around to it. Forgot that I wanted to update it before the next time I used it. I really like this one because it looks really cool. Really fits in with that kind of small Eastern European vibe. And I appreciate the fact that uh, Bartholomew's had this here for us to use. Um, and he used it, I guess, for a long time. But, uh, yeah, we need something else. Chickens are slowly producing eggs for us. We just took produce from the greenhouse, so we probably won't see any more this year before we have to turn that off. So this was kind of a mess. The way he was turning around and stuff, just, uh, he missed a lot. I don't know. If probably won't be able to tell too much. I finally just pulled him off of it because it was just not going well. Um, yeah, let's look at the map. I'll show you. We're here on the map now. We're in field 45 right here. So let's go to needs rolling. See, see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I think that part at the top's where I just told them to stop. That's right here. But um, where he was turning, it just didn't get done very well. So we're going to run up to the store. We're going to get something else and uh, do that and then maybe we will let's see I'll have to check the fertilizing on that we spread slurry on it already didn't we I think so we got manure on that um, but maybe we could spread some mineral fertilizer I don't know if we'll be able to put anything on the uh, on that winter wheat field until there's a change in ground state, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess I probably should have checked on the cows really, but I'm sure they're okay. We put tons of feed in there. Might have milk, I guess. Yeah, I'll we'll have to check on that. Let's get, the, let's get up to the store, take care of this roller first. A couple options, I'm not quite sure which one to take. I'm sure uh, <laughs> that people will disagree with the one that I'd probably end up choosing. But there are reasons for it. it may not be the biggest and uh, uh, that we could get, and maybe power, but the one I think uh, fits the look I want. Because for me, this. The, uh, the way the Let's Play looks to me is really important on this, on this series. Now, it's 
not all about making money and growing and getting huge. Uh, this one's about it fitting the story, fitting the series. I didn't change clothes from the last step, so it did it. I don't know. It's alright. Okay, let's see. I need a roller. Yep. Okay, so here's here's the options that we have right here. So the Dalbo's no go. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. Probably this one. It actually goes in that Fortrit trolley. It's got a three meter width. Looks pretty good. I like it. The other options are these ring rollers. This one's two and a half meters, so it's small. This one's four. But I think four's too big. <laughs> I know. I know what you're saying. How could four be too big? Uh, and it costs twice as much. The Cambridge rollers, that's three meters. But then you got the same issue. It's a pain in the butt to turn with and stuff and to put away because you can't really back it. So I'm going with the Fortress. I know you won't like it, but that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, it takes 50. Oh, wait, no, that's the ring. So this I could do with the... Uh, Yeah, good. A color. We'll leave it blue. Agree or disagree? That's what I'm going with. So I could actually use some of my um, smaller tractors with this too. I'm not gonna today because I'm here with this. Oddly, it puts it in backwards, so I got to come around this side. I mean, this is three meters. Think how much bigger a four meter would look on the back of there. I don't know. Just to me, it didn't look good going down the road. Let's turn the beacon on for safety. And let's get to our field and get this taken care of. Then maybe I might take a uh, harvest contract for soybeans on one of the fields up here to try and make, uh, make a little money back pay for this thing we're doing okay we're sitting at 30,000 euros so we've got enough money we can do the things that we want I think we don't really have the land or the space to do a lot I don't know maybe we could start looking for another field here's uh, soybeans to my left that's an op opportunity to harvest, I think, that we might take. So there's a mod for a Polish corn dryer out. I thought maybe we could do that, but we never produce enough crops to really make that worthwhile. So the other thing I considered was maybe we buy the dairy. So rather than mess around and try and figure out what we're doing over here, I figured we will just roll up and down. I don't know if I turn it on, do I? No. 
we'll just roll up and down the hill here and we should get all that area that kind of got missed. That's my thinking. I think it's the most effective way to get all the area that was missed rather than trying to um, go back and forth because the runs would be so short we'd just spend the whole time turning I think. This way we can kind of see what we're doing, what we're dealing with. Check the map. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna be chasing shadows if I keep doing that, so. We're gonna call it good enough for this year and we'll, we'll try and do better next time. Man, I need gas in a bad way, huh? I was just up there too. Needs maintenance. Bought this used, that's why. I'm just gonna drop that off right there for now. Uh, this, let's grab. I don't think I really need this. Um, I don't want to put it too far. Where can I put it? How about I set it here? I think one of the main reasons I got that drawbar was the the old Z Tour 25K or it didn't want to hook up to like the line spreader, I think it was. So I thought this would be a good place to tuck this out of the way. fix this. Didn't want to have to do this. This is kind of was for emergencies, but oh, gonna drop it.
Oh no. <laughs> that didn't work out well at all. Okay, I'll have to get another one or two of those in the future to have on hand for next time I need fuel like that. Um, I think I wanted to check fertilizer. Hang on. And get over there. Not very much in there, is there? I think it'll take that whole bag on it. Yep. That ought to do it, though. it'll take it. It should take it over the manure, I think. Yeah. It's working on the grass field. Oops. I'm getting a good... Uh, So this should tell us whether it'll work on the, uh, yep, we can get the final stage of fertilization on the uh, winter wheat too. So we'll do that as well. And get the whole thing here, yeah. nice if I could get all of this with one pass, but I don't know. Yeah, it never seems to work out that way. Might. Of 
first time. There's a little bit right here in this corner. Now we'll get this field. Might as well, as long as we're out with the fertilizer spreader, let's just get this fully fertilized and then we're done with this field let's see we use a spader on it so that's a plowed state i don't think we'll have to worry about weeds and it would be a shame if we did because we just fertilized it and our uh Weeder gives us an additional fertilizer state, so we don't have to actually use fertilizer, which is a good thing. Oh, that fence every time gets me. See what I'm doing. Don't want to miss a little bit on the edge. Or more light. Just so I can see in the shade of these trees. I don't want it when you... Need to take those turns a little tighter, huh? Miss that bit. I'll have to come back and get that, I guess. Can't get on. No, it's like that. <sighs> you try and get it all, and you end up missing. <laughs> Make more work for yourself, waste more fertilizer. Yes. bit there or not I got it all go up the hill here there it is little bit of overlap it's okay <laughs> that actually no I did miss that I thought it might have been a what do you call it the part where the uh forage harvester and run over the 
crop. So when it does that, you get like a fertilizer state from it. It's like a, almost like it was considering it a cover crop. Somewhere too, I think. No. Just this little bit right here. There we go. I like that little broadcast spreader. It's nice. Let's smooth that gravel out some too. Get in there like this. Let's try it. Yeah. Think so. Oh, am I hitting my bags? No, hitting something. Hitting the baler. All right. Okay, so what the heck was I thinking about doing? Soybeans, right? Okay, so we'll need the harvester for that. Can we get out? I think so. Okay, um, milk, we do have enough t we could take. When? Four more soon. I'm gonna hold off on that milk right now. Let's get the combine ready. the tail swing on this. That's oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of okay. I guess 
guess I should accept the contract before I get too, uh, invest too much time in getting up there and getting prepped if it's not available anymore. Let me double check. Yeah. I was able to accept it. to try and figure out the mulching issue on a cereal crop field, like a, a wheat field. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. It might just be the harvester mod. But we'll try and figure it out. Keep experimenting, see if we can figure out how to get that 100% yield bonus by doing everything required. Hang on, while I'm here by the dairy, how much does it cost? 43,000... 43074 and you get the lake that's a lot how much is this field 15 how much oh field 12 we we're talking about getting that one that's uh 32 huh? more than we have at the moment because we just bought the uh Roller. That portrait roller. This field is pretty good size. So it will be some some money. Access to it. Contract on it. Didn't it? This is not field 86. Oh shoot! This is 75. Okay, I took this one. This is the one I intended to take in the first place. <laughs> I ended up accidentally taking 86. I guess I'll try and run over and do that one too. I might end up having to do that off camera and at the end of the day. This was the one I had intended to take. And I just made a bad assumption. I knew it paid well and yeah. I accepted the wrong one. Well, we're here and we're doing it now, so there you go. Oh my goodness, we're back on the road. Didn't even turn my beacons on. This is a good sized field and it takes a while to do. The other one, good sized field as well. So this, yeah. I guess, about making money too, right? So I'm gonna work on this for a while. Weather looks fine, looks like it'll hold for us. So maybe we can get these two done. They are big though. And when we play at six times speed, it doesn't give us a whole lot of time. 
does soybeans continue into November? I think it does. Almost positive it does because we we chopped corn. Oh wait. Soybeans might be ready to harvest in October, November. Corn may be. Or I mean. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember. When I get a chance, I'll look at the crop calendar. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to work on this. For a bit. Okay, it's just after six o'clock. We've got all the crop cleared off the field, uh, field 75 here. The uh, Kamaz, the truck is full. And we're gonna go deliver it to PGR. The other contract for soybeans that I accidentally took, I think it was on field 86. Uh, 
I went and failed that one uh, because uh, can't harvest soybeans in November and October ends tonight and I'm not going to keep doing this so we're going to take this over to PGR I uh, will double check make 100% sure that's where it's going uh, we got probably half a grain tank a little less than half a grain tank in the harvester yet I think we'll probably get to keep all of that would be my guess so we'll probably just put that in our silo we have some uh, soybeans in our silo already so let me double check make 100% sure this is where it needs to go PGR yep so we're gonna offload it here this should complete the contract I think maybe ninety four percent all right so if we got to go get it out of the uh, combine we might as well just sell it all now I'll see you back here in a minute I think rather than watch me drive around in the dark It's so dark. I had a hard time finding the combine, so it should finish the contract and bring us in a little bit of income. We're gonna collect on that. So we're up at 35,978 euros to end the episode. I wanna thank you for joining me here at Colonia at the old Polish farm. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button if you don't subscribe yet why not don't cost nothing we'll see you next time